yes, it's big box time. Actually, it's very big box time. And this distinctive outer box with its big model number tells us it's from Diecast Masters and therefore it's a Caterpillar model. First out of the box, unusually, is not a nylon bag. Instead, it's two big expanded polystyrene trays which are enclosing the tin inside. It's all factory sealed, so there's a bit more knife work needed to separate the trays. And after some gentle separation, we begin to get to the tin. And it's a big tin because it's holding a model of the Caterpillar 994K mining wheeled loader. As usual, the big tin has got very high quality photographs and a specification information about the real machine. It's a big tin and if you use it to hold cookies, it will hold a month's supply. Unless of course you're a greedy pig, in which case it'll only hold a day's worth. With the lid off, there's some foam rubber to remove. But although we can see the model, we're still not able to get it out because there's a plastic former on top. So let's take that out next. As usual, included with the model is a small Diecast Masters brochure, and it tells you what other models are available. On we go, and there's still some more packaging to remove from the tin. And finally, we can get the heavy hand cranes into the tin to lift the model out. Oh yes, there's uh, no assembly to do because this model is complete out of the tin. Cranes Etc has made over a thousand reviews and reports, so if you like what we do, please support us and help us continue by making a pledge via Patreon. The link is on the screen and in the video description. And in return for your support, you can get various rewards, including news, early access, discounts and other benefits. And know that your support will keep us going. Looking underneath, there's some good detailing of the transmissions and axles, but the base plate under the engine is plastic. The tyres have a realistic tread pattern, and the wheel hubs are plastic, but they are detailed. At the back, the counterweight looks suitably heavy, there's lights and nice handrails. Across the pivot point, the steering rams and transmissions can be seen, but there are no hydraulics visible. Up on top, the walkway surfaces are all textured, and it's good to see fire suppression equipment. The metal cab is detailed and it has silvered mirrors, and there's an operator at the controls. The front axle is nicely detailed and there are stepping plates rising up. The loader arms are heavily built and the connection rivets have painted heads, and there are soft hoses running to the rams. The big rock bucket has nicely defined teeth, and there's very good detailing underneath and on the back. The rear grille of the model is plastic, and there are other plastic parts such as the massive exhaust stacks on top. Nearly all of the handrails and ladders on the model are metal and quite thin, but where there are plastic parts they all have an excellent colour match. The 994K is a huge machine and a huge model, and here you can see it tiptoeing up behind a CAT 982M, which is no small machine. Of course, for true perspective, he is a member of the Cranes Etc team, who just looks like he's a scale model. So we know it's a big model, but does it have the weight to back it up? The real machine weighs around 240 tonnes, and the model weighs in at two and a quarter kilos or five pounds. Let's also get the tape out and do a quick dim check. And it's about 40 centimeters or 16 inches end to end. So now you're greedy and want to know the height. Well, it's about 15 centimeters or six inches. In terms of the features, let's start underneath. And a nice touch is that each of the wheels spins independently. Also the rear axle pivots with a significant range of movement. In terms of rolling along, the model is great. It's super smooth and that's because a big chunk of metal is moving. Here the giant hand cranes lift it up and you can see the significant oscillation on the rear axle. And the steering is good too. And because the wheels are independent, it turns very smoothly. Next up we give the rock bucket a try out. And it's no problem at all in terms of the cut angle and you can see how stiff the rams are. And moving the other way, the carry angle is fairly shallow, but it may be on the real machine also. 
Going up in the world in terms of the height of lift of the bucket, it seems realistic and a very good height is achieved. So it has no problem getting over the side of a big mining truck. And if we test the tipping angle, that's also very good. So in terms of the main functionality, Diecast Masters has made a very good effort with this model. There is one more small feature, which is the access stair at the back. And that folds down and it even has articulated handrails. But to achieve that, it's all made of plastic. With this model, Diecast Masters has once again shown a steady improvement in the Caterpillar model range. And this well presented model has good detailing and good functionality too. Of course it also has that wow factor of being a giant model. So if you like really big mining equipment, this model is very good.